This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Full Sail University. The other day I was checking some cable and over-the-air TV tuner configurations on my Windows 7 Media Center-based home theater PC, and I ran Media Center's TV setup. And, of course, I instantly tweeted the insanity I encountered. Uh, here's the tweet I sent out uh, over the weekend. And, and basically, I hate to even mention this, as I fear the powers that be will squash this multi-tuner goodness. And I'm not even sure I want to know exactly whose driver package is playing Robin Hood in this case, in terms of getting all of my tuners back. Uh, because as, as, I would point, as I pointed out before, basically, Microsoft had introduced or has had this limit, basically, of the number of tuners you can have per source, cable card tuners, for a Windows, Center, a Windows Media Center computer. And in this case, somewhere along the line, that, that restriction gets removed. And, and for that, I'm pretty darn happy. And here is a close-up of that again. But basically, I have one computer with nine tuners in it that can all be used simultaneously. And somebody's driver package has helped me out anyway. In other news, I just wanted to mention that really quick as I'm going back and forth with that and why it's happening. But I really hate to dig into it because I'm afraid it's going to go away. Enough said. But in other great news, my good folks over at Seton have made a beta Windows 8 driver available. But has anyone actually found a fix for that inability to auto-launch Media Center upon startup of Windows 8? I, I, that's really a pain in the butt. Why Microsoft? Why must you accelerate the stagnation of our beloved media center? Sure, try to corner the set-top box market with the Xbox 720, but let's make this, the PC the center place of our live TV and home theater experience. I think that's, it's dead to awesome. them. I, I think they're trying to push it that way. Which sucks. But somehow my tuners are all back and I'm loving it. <laughs> On to bigger and better things. I Swing have some hardware to show off. Box 500. I do. Is it here? All new. I do. I have it on the floor. Let me show it. An unboxing of some cool hardware. Now, if you're not familiar with the folks at Sling, they have a piece of hardware that you can connect to your home theater, in this case, uh, your cable or satellite set-top box, and it uses your broadband connection to basically not only control your set-top box, but stream that content to the internet. And you spend all of your hard-earned cash on your cable or satellite TV service that's feeding you hundreds of channels, and including shows and movies, and, you know, you try to control that by running things like a DVR, and there's the hardware. There's how you connect it on the back there. Uh, pass-through HDMI, component pass-through, as well as standard F inputs, too. They really give you everything, including all the cables you need right in the box for that. Uh, really pleased with the hardware there. Now, you've got all this content at home. If right. you put that between, say, your cable or satellite set-top box and the Internet, you then can, through an app, control your set-top box and stream all that content that you're, you're currently receiving to any portable device, including your smartphone, tablets, you name it. And, and that's what single boxes are and have been since they released the first SD version years and years and years ago. Totally. Right. And what this one adds really is putting Wi-Fi, the 500 in particular, 300 bucks online. It gets you a Wi-Fi built in, HDMI pass-through, as I mentioned, and simple setup. Basically, everything you need is right in the box, which was really, really nice. And if you want to save a little cash, they have a model called the 350. It does away with HDMI input and also built-in Wi-Fi and gives you just Ethernet support and set instead. Hmm. Now, uh, both of these devices have a built-in IR blaster. There's actually a really cool. cool logo on the front. That's the emitters itself. And so just by having this box in your cabinet or sitting on top of your devices, there should be enough IR light blasting out to hit everything without having a separate nice. blaster that's plugged in. However, they include one too, just in case if, you, if you're not getting the devices you need. Uh, App-wise, uh, for all the popular platforms, it's about 15 bucks for your smartphone or tablet to get connected to this box. That's a one-time fee though. And basically with that device in hand, I have some images of what that interface looks like. And here, let me pull up a first picture here. It, it's kind of funny. The quality, the one thing here is like the quality isn't really depending on, on whether you have 1080p or 720p HD totally to go into the box. It's completely dependent on the upload speed coming out of your house to the internet. That is it. And, and with savvy owners of the Slingbox systems too, especially if you have lots of premium channels where the content may be restricted in terms of the use, component input on here may save the day. Or, or with the 350 model, you have component input. Right. It avoids uh, potential headaches you'll have with uh, protected content. The glory of the analog loophole. And I was talking about for my home theater PC, which runs on Media Center. Uh, I basically, here's the interface through the phone I had. And here it is looking through the, the, the channel guide lineup I had. Uh, there's a channel actually playing through my phone. I just screen cap these. Here then, I also oh. have access to my movie collection. Really? This is right in there. Anything you can stream basically will go through this device. And boom, there's the interface that I can then use through the phone to control. Uh, the interface on the Media Center system. What's the maximum resolution on this? Uh, 
up to 720p HD. Streaming. How Through much? How much bandwidth is that? Like four I, megabit? Or? I, I saw four megabit on my internal network, uh -huh. and when I was outside of the house, it was limited to my upload speeds, sure. which got around you know 1500 or so. So. Overall, I was really pleased with the quality, especially on a smaller screen, mm -hmm. and, and at HD resolution, it was perfect. And, and it's so nice to take something I already have, uh, that it's content I'm paying for, mm -hmm. be, it, be it movies or my, my paid cable or satellite programming, and if I'm a road warrior or someone who, who's away from the house a lot, I can take my broadband internet connection and that set-top box, pair it with a product like the Slingbox 500, and basically have new and interesting ways to watch my content anywhere without, without dealing with monthly fees or, or, you know, terms of service you might not want to deal with. So I'm feeling a big thumbs up here. Oh, totally. <laughs> I, the setup was about as easy as it gets. It right. updates itself as soon as you connect to the internet. And, and really, it's pretty much the pass-through design makes it pretty easy to connect to everything. And also, they give you every cable in the box, too, analog and digital cables. So no matter what you want to do, I really liked it. And if you, if you didn't need Wi-Fi, maybe, you could mm -hmm. also just go with the 350 model and save a little, save a little on that. There so. you have it. It's awesome. Good stuff. Yes. I love good stuff. Email us hdnation at revision3.com if you got a HDTV, home theater, or Blu ray, whatever. You got a question about something you watch on the big screen, let us know. hdnation at revision3.com. Right now, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. The mobile app industry is on fire right now, so don't miss out because you lack the skills. Check out Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program. It teaches you the skill sets you need to take advantage of these emerging opportunities. The program will teach you both the programming and the business side of mobile development, so you can conceive, develop, deploy, and market an application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app deployment for both iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail's Project LaunchBox program, students receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with no signs of slowing down. If you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash techzilla to learn more about this online degree program.